So yeah. it was a great defensive performance for you guys overall. I, th I think we just played a, a, a – we came off a very emotional – win on Saturday and early it was just hard to get the, the motor running but collectively our team defended and we didn't give them other than we gave them some open threes but they never got to the basket and that's what Holden's very capable of he's a he's a prolific scorer his dad played at UCLA played in the NBA um, so he knows the game and we didn't totally concentrate on stopping him but we wanted him right you know not to score easily right but I think tonight's game I mean if you have Tommy points <laughs> Kerry Weldon, I, I mean, I, I, he was on the, I mean, he was Superman. Yeah, how much has he improved, too, since as the season's going You can go on? behind. You can go behind. Um, he's improved immensely, yeah. but it's, it's, it's his heart. You know, I'll never forget the day we recruited him. He lived in the shadows of uh, the World Trade Center, and we couldn't find a parking space when we did his home visit. And we were trying to park the car, and I was with Coach Koontz, and Kerry was standing outside, saved the space for us. He's a very selfless young man, and just what he gets, he deserves. And I, I don't know how many, I don't care how many points or how many rebounds. He was the heart and soul of our basketball team tonight, and I think the rest of the guys followed. But Kerry Weldon, who, who, uh, you know, scored seven points, six rebounds, four steals, two assists. I can't believe he didn't have a block in only 18 minutes. Yeah. So tonight I, I did a poor job subbing because now every single player on our roster is eligible and healthy. Right. And to get 15 guys in the game is hard. And right. I got two walk-ons that are still going to get eligible. So we, we have a multitude of players. And tonight it was team, but Kerry led that team. Is is it, it, oh God, I was going to say four guys in, in double figures, but was it about defense tonight? It was just about, it was about team. I don't think we played great defense. They missed a lot of open shots. They shot 26% from three and 36 from the, uh, from the floor. But I just think it was about, you know, the way we practice every day. That wasn't, you know, we didn't play great, and we, you know, we won by 19 points. And that's a good team. They're, they have a 5-3 and three record coming in here on the road. They, they're young. They're dangerous. They spread you out. And um, I think early Botch played well, although he didn't get great numbers. But, and Akeem is just struggling still. But he started to get it in the second half. But when we share the ball between... You know, you know, Matt Welch coming back and Deep Pan Joe and Scotty and then Robbie in the middle. You know, we have uh, – and Antonio's not – so Antonio and, and Akeem haven't played well of late. And, you know, we've won 10 out of 11 or whatever we've won. So we're, we're playing as a team. And the, the individual weaknesses are not showing up because we're playing together. You, you, you guys – go ahead. Okay. Early it was a little bit sloppy. Then you broke the clipboard and yeah. everything changed. <laughs> How many clipboards have you been through this year and, and what changed after that? Bob, why are you being a wise guy? No, no. You know what? I, I just had to tell these guys, and I, I said it yesterday in practice, like, if you think you're going to play not as hard as Saturday and win, you're crazy. Right. And at, at some point, you know, I don't know what my team listens to, but and I don't know if that was a turning point, but I can't take it. And especially with my three guys. I had three guys here from Holy Cross, the 1993 NCAA team that went and played Arkansas. Uh, I'm not going to – I'm not. our product is too good to show uh, weakness. And we were playing weak. We weren't defending, and we weren't sharing, and we were looking at each other. And I think that had a little bit to do with Matt just coming back and our substitution pattern was different. And, and quite honestly, I think there was a little letdown. Saturday was special. And now to come out tonight, and we can't beat everybody by 40 points. You know? we, we, but, you know, we came out slow, and I liked, to see, I liked how we reacted to it. And, uh, uh, but the, the clipboard is intact. It wasn't broken, <laughs> uh, for the record. <laughs> What do you think it's like to play against you guys? Because you always seem to be one run away. I mean, if you get you go on that run, and then it's almost like a knockout punch to the other team. I think the else. hardest thing is that we like we're the only team in the league that presses. Yeah. So people have to prepare for our press, and we have three or four of them. We have two or three zones, yeah. and then we have good man. So like to prepare for us is hard. So we have a, a, a number of ways to come at you, and a number of people. So it's not it's not just uh, good job, Bob. Thank Love you. Bro. Um, it's not just playing half court man and running your half court offense. We've got it's fun. Yeah. You know, when Bob comes to practice and you've been to practice once, yeah. you know, I invite everyone to practice, man. And what what we do in practice translates onto the court, and and then I like to show it off. So when I'm playing well, especially in front of some of my dear friends, it's like yo, these guys are, went to the Division One NCAA right. tournament. I wanted to show our guys that you know what we can. We should have beat Providence, and we're we're going in the right direction. And, and but now we got a tough game going. We gotta go up to Southern New Hampshire and now take this on the road. But I love my team, I really do. When they're playing like this and, they, and I, we set the bar high and they're they're getting close to getting close to where we want to be, 
I really love my team. They deserve a day off, and we'll come back on Thursday in, in uh, practice and get ready for Saturday. I mean, you, your minutes are going up and everything. So, what do you think's been the key for you uh, as the season's going on? Oh, just keeping, just keep working hard. And that's all it was. Like going hard in practice, challenging the players. The players challenging me, and just about a work in practice is showing in games. And that's all I can say. Do you feel like you're kind of an energy guy on this team? I mean, you can't. You're constantly on the boards. You're on the floor about 20 times today. Is that <laughs> is that kind of what you try to bring to? Yeah, that's what Coach G really wants me to do, and I try to perfect it. Um, I'm able to do it game in, game out, and I just try my best to make sure it happens. You know, we always hear that scoring points is fun. Looks like you make defense fun. Defense is fun, you know. Like, when seeing the other guys struggle to score points and seeing my other guys being able to score because of my defense, it, it really makes me happy at the end of the day. It makes me feel like my job is completed. Coach is calling you the heart and soul of this team. You, 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 think, he, you think he's nailed it, or you're a little bit surprised to hear that? Uh, I'm a little surprised, you know. Um, <laughs> I think... I don't think it's just me. I think it's a team effort. Um, us playing as a team, us working hard all together makes makes everything look, look good. And if it wasn't for my team, I wouldn't be able to do half of the things I'm able to do on the court now. So, thanks, Kurt.